This is the second video in a playlist talking about how to use a Google form and then convert it, uh, import it into Salesforce using, using Zaps. So uh, at this point we have a form. Uh, this is the form we built in the first video and what I've done is to go on ahead and create a filled out form here and I'm going to submit that. And uh, the only interesting thing here was is that we required email although they don't validate the email. It's kind of like a, a Salesforce user ID where basically you just can put anything in a, in a at dot um, a format that looks like an email address. So I'm going to submit that and uh, that says I can submit another one if I care to. Um, and then if I'm now, um, if I go back and actually first if, I'm, if I go back to Google Forms, which it, again I was able to get to through the Google Apps, uh, what I can do then is, is I can select the uh, the form I was using here on recent forms um, and uh, what I get is this form I can see I've made four responses so I'm going to click over to my responses and I can see uh, a summary of who's responded and I can also see kind of the the first name last name again grouped this way um, and uh, different formats it accepted because it's all just straight text. But we'll see how that actually rolls into Salesforce. Uh, I, I can also then look at individual responses and see how that works uh, and and understand and I can kind of scroll this way to get there if I want to to see all four individually. Uh, this is the button that would turn it off, right? So I'm no longer accepting if I turn that off. And then uh, at this point what I want to see is my responses. So Let's go on ahead and click in on that. And what it does is to bring up a Google Sheet with a timestamp. It also shows, uh, you know, these are basically the, the columns that I've created. Uh, you know, what's important here is that this is uh, uh, the, kind of the, the, the spreadsheet name. Um, and we're going to see this again in the, next, uh, in the next video, but it's important to know um, both the spreadsheet name and then the, 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 the sheet itself that you're going to be importing, the sheet, the tab number. Um, so w w just kind of see that. We'll again get back to that in the next video. Thanks for watching.